Hi guys, I am back again for a new video and today I am going to show you my favorites, my current favorite products. Um, some are new, some are old, so let's get this started. Um, the first one, I'm just gonna go with skincare first. I have only one skincare or two. I have two skincares and the first one is the Skin Aqua UV Moisture Melt in the SPF 50 with a PA of triple plus. I really like it. It's very moisturizing. It's SPF 50 and it's really light. You can, uh, I usually apply it before makeup and sometimes I do the mist for the after makeup but this is a really really good one it's really watery it's very it's really good so yeah that is the first favorite it's the skin aqua UV moisture milk the second skincare one probably I don't know if this is skincare but this is the herb day lip and eye makeup remover from the face shop it is my holy grail makeup remover I really really do love this product and it comes with 30 sheets and i think this costs around 200 something pesos but yeah awesome it's very moist and it removes every single thing so i like that about it and uh, yeah that is my second favorite and now we're gonna go to face products i do have a couple of foundations that i'm going to show you i have been using them like uh, a combination for um I, I combined some of them so I have kind of a lot of foundation favorites but the first one is the usually my base and this is the face shop uh, face it aura color control cream and this one is the CC cream from the face shop it has a really nice puff and you kind of push the product to dispense it and it's push this thing to dispense a product but it's really good and I have done a review with this I'm just gonna link it in the description box but so far I really like this and now I'm using it as a base just a thin layer as a base and then I usually do uh, I usually cover it or put something over it kind of like a foundation a very thin layer of foundation the first favorite I have to put over that is the Kate powerless liquid for cover it's a really really good one i don't know if this is available here i'm gonna check it and link it in this description box but it's really really good and it covers pretty much everything i don't really have a lot of blemishes right now but i actually am using it today it's really really good i really like it so yes i'm going to do a review uh, of this one soon it's in the works so stay tuned for that and then, or if I don't want to use this because it's the only one I have, and uh, I am in the shade OGC, if you're wondering. And this one is the other one I put all over the CC cream, and this is the L'Oreal Lucent Magic Light Infusing Foundation. This is uh, discontinued already, so that's quite sad, but I like it. And... Uh, it is a really really good natural finish it's not shiny it's kind of a little dewy and a little matte at the same time it's really really similar to the um, true match foundation this is more dewy than that but it's pretty much the same so yes I really like this one it it looks really natural so yes that is the third face product and the last face oh I have two more face products uh, let's go over with this one first this is the Maybelline pure concealer mineral healthy natural concealer and this is really good this is by far one of the best drugstore concealers um, out there and it's very affordable I think this is 300 something I have had this for like over a year now you only need a little bit in awesome they only have two shades and this is the darker one this is in the shade number two which is i think the beige one i look too white <laughs> so yeah i really like this uh, i'm gonna review this one soon i haven't reviewed it yet so yes and the last face product that i really liked for the past couple of months is the studio fix 
Max Studio Fix in the shade NC40. This is like my holy grail, holy grail powder, and it's just really nice. It matches my skin tone really well. It doesn't oxidize and it keeps my oil at bay. And I remain oil free for a maximum of eight hours. And I really like this. And it's a powder foundation. I use it alone or just as a light setting powder for the face makeup like today I use it as a setting powder just a light dust the light dusting of the powder I am not used to filming anymore that's why I'm kind of stuttering but anyway let's go with the cheek products I do have two cheek products and I use them in combination you can see uh, the highlighter and the blush right here they're both glowy products so the elf elf baked highlighter is my favorite if as you all know because <laughs> i always uh, mention this product it's really really good i've used this a lot and i haven't even made a dent in it and uh, yeah that is the elf baked highlighter it's really awesome i have it on my uh what is that called <laughs> my highlight today and then nars deep throat and I haven't finished this one I don't know why but I've used this a lot lately and I really like the glow it gives me I would definitely repurchase it is quite expensive though but it is really good it's a good product okay and then I have a lip combination that I really really liked at the moment love at the moment actually and it's the lip uh, combo that I am actually using today and this is a uh, Face Up Touch My Lip Liner in the shade number. What are you? In the shade number three, Wonder Coral. So it has this in, which is which has a lip brush, which I don't really use because I don't really use a lip brush except when I use red lipstick. And it has this um, retractable side and uh, yeah that is the shade i use it as a base today i did made a get ready with me with this face on kind of like a regular everyday makeup and i'm just gonna link it in the description box i think that would go up before this one and yeah this one is fairly new but it is a repurchased and the good thing about this product is that it is refillable so you can just buy the refills so anyway that is the lip liner that i love at the moment and then the lipstick is the one over it and this is in what is this rimmel what lasting finish by kate lipstick from rimmel and this is in number eight and it's kind of like a dark pinky nude kind of has that mauve tone to it it's kind of it's a darker pinky nude so i really like that it suits my skin tone really nicely and it smells really good. It smells fruity. And then, um, I feel like I'm talking too fast. Uh, I have a one eyeshadow favorite. This is an eyeshadow stick by Etude House. And this is called the Bling Bling Eye Stick. And this one is in the shade Ivory Baby Star 08. And it's a really, really nice, just shimmery stick thing. And awesome, I really like this. And yeah, it doesn't really crease that much on me, so that's really nice. And it lasts a long time, that's why I really like this. So, yep. And then, I have two more products left. And okay, this one is, I'm just gonna do the uh, mascara eye actually may have found a way better mascara than my hyper girl which is my most read mascara ever and it's the mascara i'm using today i don't have any false lashes today and this is insane i really really like this mascara better than the um what do you call that um better than the see i forgot the name already what is the name um hyper curl mascara and this is the heroin make 
long and curl mascara I like this because it keeps the curl better and longer than the hyper curl and look at that length it does have fibers in it and it's in this pink tube it's waterproof which is really nice for oily skin people and for stick straight lashes like me I'm gonna do a review with this one soon but it has a curved brush and it has fibers in it and uh, yeah this is awesome I really like it I, I think it cost double the price of the hyper curl but it's definitely worth it like look at my lashes they're really nice and the last favorite is a nail polish this is a chic nail polish just a local brand polish and I think this is the pastel collection or a queen collection and this is called Serena Serena is that correct Serena and it's kind it is kind of like a beigey pink a milky beigey pink color and it's really nice for your hands and yeah I don't have it at the moment because I'm so bad at painting my nails right now so yeah it has a regular sized um, brush but the color is really nice the formula is really good it's not as long lasting as the bobby ones I think this one will last you around one week only so yeah but so far I really liked it so those are my favorite products I have some new and some old as I've told you a while ago but yeah I hope you like this I'm going to do reviews with some of the products that I'm really liking at the moment and I hope you stay tuned for that and I hope you like this video and I'll see you again in my next video bye